welcome to this lecture. Today we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. Now in this example, we are going to study about the special kinds of non-parametric tests called Mann-Whitney test. Two kinds of non-parametric tests, Mann-Whitney and Wilcoxon sign test are popular. We use Mann-Whitney test when two groups of these variables are independent to each other. The Mann-Whitney test is used for those item categories that are entirely different from each other. For example, suppose these are the purity of the product uh, when the quality assurance officer sample and tested the 11 products and these are the 13 sample products manufactured by the factory B. So these are quite unrelated to each other. If it was Wilcoxon scientist, the two things uh, would be related. For example, it may be the glucose level before fasting and glucose level after fasting, which are tested in a same person. Or it may be harness of some product before addition of some material and harness of the product after addition of the certain material. But in this case, we are good to go with the Mann-Whitney test. For that, you go to the stat and you go to the non-parametrics and you choose the Mann-Whitney. In the first sample, you can select the percentage purity A, second sample percentage purity B, you can select your confidence level, it may be 99% or 95% and the alternative is always not equal. Now Minitab returns us the description. Let's directly jump over this p-value here. The p-value is 0 0.862. Now uh, as we know that higher the p-value, the null hypothesis is accepted. And the null hypothesis is n1 minus n2 is equal to 0. That means n1 is equal to n2. There is no difference between the median value. So as the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, as we had selected the confidence interval at uh, 95%, we know that there is no statistical difference between the percentage purity of the product manufactured by factory A and purity of the product manufactured by the factory B. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, agile and scrum, kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership and remember it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.